Hey everybody, in this video we are going to talk about balance and why it gets worse when we can't see at night or when it's dark and two, why it gets worse as we age, as we get older. I'm sure you've all seen this maybe even in yourselves or in loved ones, but as we get older we do lose some balance and that's why we see falls and other things happening later on in life where when we're younger that just doesn't happen. Or the other part is you maybe get up at night and it's dark and you feel a little more stumbly it's dark. So why is our balance worse then? And why do we lose it a little bit as we get older? These are important things that we have to understand about our body. So let's talk about them now. First, we have to understand how our body achieves balance, how we stay balanced. And we use three things. Our brain uses three things. First is the inner ear or balance center in there. That one, that one's pretty obvious. That is what it is. That's in our brain. Two is vision. Okay, if we see ourselves tipping relative to our environment, our brain says, uh-oh, don't like that, and it activates the balance reflexes that helps correct us and bring us back upright. So our eyes play a crucial role in our balance. It's the second thing that we rely the most on. And the third are receptors in our joints, especially the ankles and the hips. So if, if you're rolling your ankle or you step on something funny, the nerves in those joints send signals to your brain activates the balance reflex and keeps you upright. So those are the three main things that we use to stay stable and to stay balanced. Now, when it's dark at night or when we can't see, we lose one of those uh, three systems. So we're down to two, just our inner ear and just the receptors in our joints. So that's the reason when it's dark or at night or when, it's, when you have trouble seeing that we lose our balance. Or if you're standing and you close your eyes, it's way more wobbly. It's because you take away one of the three systems that our brain uses for balance. Okay, that's important. But what happens as we get older? Now, as we get older, unfortunately, we start to lose some of the signals coming from our joints, your ankles and your hips. And if you have pain or arthritis or injuries in there, we lose them even faster. Okay, it happens naturally, but it happens with injuries also. So we start to lose those signals coming from your joints, but our brain is smart. Initially, you don't lose balance because your brain will say, okay, I'm not getting those signals from the joints. What I'll do instead is I'll just use one of those other two systems a little bit more. So we become more reliant on our vision to keep us upright. That's problematic because later in life, what also happens? We lose some eyesight. Our eyesight starts to go, or if like we talked about before, if it's dark, there's nothing else to rely on, okay? And if we start to lose vision, start to lose the receptors in the joints, that's when you start to notice functionally at a certain age, whoa, my balance just isn't what it used to be. My balance is off because your brain reached a level where it couldn't compensate anymore, and now you're starting to notice those changes in the balance. I hope that makes sense. So now what we want to talk about is what do you do about it? The good news is that just like your body can stop getting those signals from the joints, we can improve that as well. It doesn't matter what age you are, how unstable or how unsteady you feel like you are on your feet, you can always improve your balance, okay? I'm gonna show you in another video simple, easy, and safe ways to do that and progressions where we're using all three of those balance systems. And it's important that we just take this time real quick to understand that to know how our body's working so that you can understand how these exercises work and how to progress them yourselves. That's what I'm going to show you in the next video. I'll also put in here how you can test yourself some single leg balance. How long should you be able to stand on one leg just based on how old you are? So a simple and easy way you can test yourself at home and say, hey, where am I with my eyes open? Where am I with my eyes closed? Am I in a normal range or is it something I need to start working on? Because balance is something you want to work on before you start falling. Then it's becoming too late. So we want to catch it early. We want to catch it now, but we have to understand how our body works. I hope this video is helpful for you to, to get that picture clear in your mind. You can click on my face here to subscribe if you like this content, if you find it helpful. Please do that and check out these other videos as well. Thanks for watching.